Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CCT, and today's lesson is Haymail. And I absolutely love this tangle when I figured out how to draw it. You can see Haymail here, and mine always get a little ski wampusy. Tina Hunginser, I'm sure that I slaughtered that name, some I do, had fun doing this tangle. And a friend of hers, also a fellow ZZT, and Tina's a ZZT, we're going to draw this today. And I'm just going to show you a few steps that I did to make it easier. I've also colored this one. I just recently taught this in my class that I teach weekly at the library. And that's the purpose of these videos, is for my students who miss a class can go in and get a video. So we're going to start with our pencil. Now, I don't think Tina starts with a pencil. She's just brave and can do it, but I cannot do it without having my string to kind of guide me. So I start, and I'm just going to make a spiral string, and that one of the keys to this spiral string is that it, you, st you start here and you spiral out, and, one, and you stop here. For me, that's the key to that. Now I'm going to pick up my pen, and I'm going to rotate this so that I, it's in the right position for me. And I'm going to put a dot with my pen about in the center of this spiral. And then I'm going to make the letter J and come down. And this is the, that's the start. And I'm just going to continue to make letter J's, starting with my pen in the center, and then make a J. I come all the way down to that string line that I drew and make the letter J. And what this does, it allows you to gradually get larger with your little design. It gradually gets larger. I have a very hard time gradually getting larger without some kind of guide. I can get smaller but not larger. Now the key here is when I make this line that I want to come right down and hit that first one I did. Now, we want to continue to have that line from the center. So I put an imaginary line, then come here and draw out. So I'm just taking an imaginary line. If I were to do it without that, it wouldn't have that same sequence, it, it would start to look off kilter or off shape. And you can see now that I am still getting larger and I'm about to my end. There's the end of where I want it to be larger. Now you can stop here. Oh, I didn't on any of my examples. Some things I do, I stop here and then I will just use this to have different things come out of it. It's kind of like a, a conch shell or uh, that it looks like it has that kind of a seaworthy look. But if I want it to go smaller, now I don't need that line to go smaller. I can gradually go in and get smaller. I can do that so I can work myself back in to get smaller. And there we have Hamel delightful tangle from Tina, CZT. And Tina, I'm not going to say your last name again and slaughter it. So, but now, I think it needs a little shading to make it stand out. And I'm just going to show you some. You can see that this one, I've done a little shading. This one I taught in class on Tuesday. And you can see a big difference in when you shade and when you don't shade. So I'm just going to show you how I shade Haymail. And I'm just going to put my pen down and pick up my pencil. And you can see I've got this line, that's a pencil line that kind of goes around the outside. I am going to um, just not worry about that. And I'm going to uh, change my pencil to get a better one. I am just going to take my pencil and I'm going to just make that same J shape that I did with my pen. So I'm just going to go ahead with a pencil 
and Now I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm going to start in the center and I'm just going to blend this out, leaving as much dark and then lighten up so I leave a little bit of light. So I'm going to start blending and then lift up so I don't put too much, making sure I leave a little light spot. And I'm not cleaning my shading stump at all in between. It's getting it gets pretty loaded, but I just lighten my pressure on my shading stump so that I don't get it too dark. Now I'm going to do a little bit with a pen again so that it actually gives it a little bit more depth. Sometimes we don't think about going back and making a thicker line with our pen, but I'm just going to start here at the end and I'm going to fill in that little dip and darken with my pen very outside edge. And just kind of round that little dip there to almost almost flattened it out. I darken that outside edge. You can see some of where my pencil line was. I kind of fill that in. And what this does is kind of helps it Come and give it a little 3D look. Kind of gives it a shadow underneath so it makes it look like it's even more rounded, more realistic. Now, I'm going to do a tad more shading. So I'm just going to put a little bit of graphite, a little extra. There's some there, but I probably covered it up with my pen a little bit. So I'm just going to shade with the side of my pencil around the outside of this. And then take my shading stump again. And there we have an additional shadow. And then you can go back in and you can add some more maybe organic looking things. But one of my favorite things to add is circles. I love circles. And on this brown one, you can see that I added some circles and I also added some white and a little uh, stipple. And that's fun. But I, I would just, I can go back and add just little pebbles, little circles out here on the outside edge. I absolutely, so it looks like it's maybe sitting in some gravel or sand. And another thing you can do is you can put some little, just some little stipple on it. And it just is a pleasing little look when you get finished. And here, instead of shading with um, pencil, I just shaded with my colored pencil and then added a little white. And I love tangle. It's a, a pleasing tangle. And when I realized I could do it with, um, draw that spiral with my pencil and then follow that line, it just made it easier for me to do. 
I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you don't miss a single video because I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And enjoy! Enjoy!